Hey guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, got another game review. Very popular. Um, Xbox One, love it. Uh, can't get enough of it. Playing a current game at the minute uh, called The Evil Within uh, while I review this game. Uh, the game in question is Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Now, uh, as you may know, I had this game on the PS3. Uh, I'll put a link down to, uh, to the game there. Now, the thing is, when I got my Xbox, I saw the Lego Marvel game. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to have it on next gen console. Um, I didn't buy this game, I won it in a competition. And yeah, it was one that I was looking at like, oh, I want to get that. And I finally got around to getting it. Um, to be honest, uh, I've played it a few times, uh, I've gone through quite a few of the missions. And unfortunately, it's kind of like the old one, um, I say the old one, on the PS3. It's like that. But it's still enjoyable. It's still cool to play. Um, it is like the PS3 version, uh, but I'm not knocking it. It is pretty cool. It's enjoyable. Um, it's Lego, and you play in New York City, and you can play with approximately 150 different Marvel-themed characters. Some good, some evil, some known, some un unknown. You can play as Stan Lee. In all honesty, it's a cool game. Um, the gist of the story is that Galacticus is destroying worlds he's eating them and uh, he's hungry and Silver Surfer is sent onto a mission to uh, go and get him some more food once he enters Earth's atmosphere Iron Man uh, chases him down Doctor Doom knocks him out of the sky and then his surfboard Silver Surfboard is dotted all over uh, New York and of course you've got to pick it up help Silver Surfer and uh, save the world from Galacticus eating everything that he possibly can. You are mainly based on the Shield's helicarrier, um, that's pretty cool. In the movie Avengers it's awesome uh, and now you get to play on it in Lego form and now even I've seen pictures that they're releasing it in Lego form itself so you can build it which looks amazing. But yeah, you run there, you can go from the helicarrier to New York uh, fly around adventurous, uh, discover the whole island of Manhattan. And there's a sh shed load, I'll be polite because it's a uh, children's game. Um, there's a shed load of collectibles, um, 150 characters like I say to collect. There are in total 15 main missions, there's also 12 side missions, so like I say there's a lot to keep you going, a lot to explore, uh, very adventurous, very fun, uh, very creative, you can create your own character. Um, I did that on the previous uh, game that I had on the PS3. Uh, I think I had Iron Man's suit on and uh, Captain America's shield. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really cool, really enjoyable. Um, I won it, like I say, in a competition. However, I was going to buy it. Um, it is one that is uh, definitely one for me. If you're a big kid like me, then you'll enjoy it. If you're a Lego fan, then you'll enjoy it. If you even like New York City, for example, You'll enjoy it because New York City is the main theme of uh, the city, of where it's based. Yeah, if you like Marvel, anything, uh, Avengers, um, Iron Man, Captain America, uh, Thor, uh, you got X-Men on there. Larger characters, smaller characters, Guardians of the Galaxy, if I haven't mentioned it, uh, they're in there, Fantastic Four. Um, yeah, there's so many characters. Uh, definitely worth picking up uh, if you're a fan of it. Definitely go get it if you've had it on previous consoles and you want it on the next gen console that you've got. Definitely worth getting, guys. So, thank you for watching my review of Lego Marvel Superhero. Also, read the devoted links down below. As per usual, go check them out, guys. Some awesome gear that they've got going on. Use Toby WTD, gets you 20% off any read the devoted items that you decide to buy. Link down below to the shop. Well, guys, really, thank you for watching for my review of Lego Marvel Superhero on my next gen console on my xbox one so thanks for watching guys